I was a witch and mermaid, I was working with the goddess under the ocean, everything began when I was living at my aunt's, who initiated me when she cooked meat and gave me, that night after eating her food I saw a wicked spirit that came to visit me. He was completely dark, I could not see him for I only saw him in the mirror of my room, and he was staring at me, when he approached me I got scared, and I turned on the light and shouted, as a result he disappeared, since then I was no longer smart in school, yet I used to be clever, my aunt encouraged me to keep eating her meat, it was actually human meat, in the night when I slept people came to take me to wizard meeting, but I refused, I was eating in the dream it was actually human meat, at the age of 17 when I was now grown up, evil spirit were manifesting more in my life, because of the issues I had faced in life I became wicked and I had no mercy, I like to see people suffer, in this practice of witchcraft, my first weapon was evil arrows, upon which I was attaching sickness, bad luck, mischief, woe, I could shoot people with arrows of cancer, I was attacking innocent people with arrows, Whatever the distance and wherever they were in the world it did not matter, even if they were in Europe or America the arrows all reached them. My second weapon was a sword, I had a sword with which I was shading blood, the Bible say then another horse went forth. It was bright red and its rider was granted permission to take away peace from the earth and to make men slay one another. And he was given a great sword. With the sword given to me, I was targeting people that walk late in the night. When others are sleeping, I slice their souls from their body and capture their souls, which I chained with big chained and I took them to captivity, the victim will not know that their souls have been captured and will be programmed for execution, when I laid down my sword, I would often injured my hand in order to touch people with my blood, this is what I call marking people, when you are marked this way I can control you remotely because you become my slave, my third weapon was my eyes. I attack my victims with my eyes, this was the most powerful weapon, thanks to my eyes I was able to shoot fire and evil arrows, I was manipulating people through the eyes and bewitching the innocents, at school I initiated two of my colleagues, it is thanks to my eyes of python that I initiated them, since I had the lower part of a python and I had the eyes of a python, that enable me to look into people's spirit and even manipulate their thought. I did not need to get people to eat something in order to initiate them, I just need to look at them with the A's of the python to initiate them into witchcraft, I was coming to get them in the night and we were flying in the night to drink blood and eat flesh in the wizard meeting, then the dragon that dwell in my village gave me power to transform in the night to a dragon, I received the power of dragon transformation, when I flew in the night I was spitting fire to the innocent, as soon as my fire touched them I was capturing their souls, I had great teeth of the dragon with which I was crocking all kind human meat and bones, every day I was drinking 8 litre of human blood, whenever I turned to a dragon I was hunting innocent soul, when the dragon fire reached a soul I was taking the prey to captivity in prison in the world of witchcraft, other were put in captivity of the siren in the astral world of the siren, they were programmed to be killed after 3 days or a week brother when I turned to a dragon in the night to fly to the astral realm it was carnage, only those who had God presence that were spare, only those who were kept by guardian angels that were safe, however those who claim to be Christian and live in sin were vulnerable, it is not enough to say I am a Christian and I am more than conqueror, it is the way you live that matter, there are Christian that sit at home to watch the movie of the demon Spider-Man, they are opening doorway to the demon Spider-Man to join them at home, these comic book characters and cartoons such as Naruto, Barbie, Son Boko and manga characters are demon, every time you watch Naruto, Son Boko and Barbie, the demon comes out TV and land in your homes beside you, to impact you with evil power, and your spirit would begin to behave like Naruto, Son Boko and Barbie flying in the night among demons that you watch in cartoon. The demon you watch in horror movies also come out of the screen in your home to cause destruction in your life, TV is dangerous for the eyes because the brain record all these images that have demon. And when I look in your eyes I would see that you were exposed to these images that are attached to demons, and I will attack and bewitch you because you have opened a door, really there are all kind of demons in TV, 
you cannot claim to have the spirit of God and seat before TV watching these movies, you are really exposed because many demons are coming out of TV to destroy the spectator, all is not permitted to watch, your opening door, there are God children sitting at to watch Spider-Man who is a demon, who come out of TV to destroy their lives, all these monsters in cartoon are demon and they affect children, Barbie is the marine spirit possession. If your child sit to watch Barbie she will be possessed quickly and she would fly and swim in the spirit when mermaids will come to transport her, in the world beneath the sea the siren always look for slaves and captives, and when the children watch Barbies she will come to get their spirit and they will swim for she will give them fish tail, we must be careful with what we allow the children to watch, they must watch Christian cartoon, beside cartoon the enemy work a lot in secular music. In most cases the word said in this music is not understood because these words are curse and they are incantation, already the clips are immoral, somehow people still watch them despite these obscenity, when they watch they are joined by demon who bewitch them. They are music produced by the queen of seduction under the sea, you feel relaxed when you hear it but it is the diva of the sea kingdom who is the producer, you are under manipulation when you listen to them. Water spirit come to you when you hear it and take your spirit to prison in the astral world you are condemned, all is not permitted to watch in TV, we must be very careful with what we let children watch cartoon, witchcraft battle against my mother a carnal Christian, I was causing destruction at home, and after three month of destruction at home, my mother called a pastor to come and pray the family, when the pastor came he told my mum, your daughter is a witch. She has a human spirit in her, unless she come out of witchcraft she will die, my aunt who initiated me told me my mother hate me, she is the one that like me, then my mother began to take me to church, where I was hearing the word, but in the night I was leaving my body to attend witchcraft meeting, I was later appointed the destroyer, and began to destroy people finance, marriage, I destroy my mother business. I was told destroy everything no mercy, upon my arrows I was writing names of sickness such as cancer, blood pressure, fibroid and I was shooting people with arrow that left them sick, I was then instructed to initiate my younger sister, as a result we began to travel in the night together to attend wizard meeting, she became a water siren and a witch, she was actually a princess, more focused in the marine kingdom than witchcraft, underwater my sister the princess was making jewelry, wig and make up everything that please women, we flew in the night to attend wizard meeting, on the other hand I continued to come to church and my attitude deteriorated at home, as a result my mom got aggravated and said in her heart, I must rise in prayer and fight for the battle has come in my homes, when my mother began to pray with fervency, bright angels of God descended at home, and my power were paralyzed, in order to come out of defeat. I went on to bewitch my senior brother, as a result he got in a life of smoking and drinking, when my mother saw this lifestyle in my brother she was getting aggravated, as a result of anger the bright angels of God left, because my mother opened the spiritual doorway of anger, and because of the door of anger I began to shoot and attack her with evil arrows in order to neutralize her spiritual and her prayer that was paralyzing my power, when anger was found in her heart because of my brother lifestyle. I launched the evil arrow against her, and she was reached by arrows of slumber, the arrows of heaviness and the arrows of spiritual weakness, as a result she became heavy and unable to pray, and she began to sleep heavily, since she could no longer pray because of heaviness, I summoned a marine spirit that became her spiritual husband, she was so much molested by the marine husband that she has also became a mermaid, for she now had fish tail like water mermaids. I married and sold her to a triton, a merman, since water mermaids and siren are the angriest demons, my mother became an angry woman, over time she realized that she was getting aggravated all the time, and my father told her, you must give up anger, you are getting aggravated easily and all the time, in truth the witches try to provoke Christian to anger and aggravation so that the door will be open for them to enter and cause destruction in the life of the believer. Finally my mother realized that something was wrong about anger that she was manifesting, for my father told her anger is not good and witches used anger to attack God children, 
When she began to renounce her anger the more she confessed that anger I saw the angel of God descending to her life and they were attending her and her baby, back then she had a eight month baby, it is when I decided to shoot the baby with evil arrows that I saw that the baby was also attended by bright angels of the Lord, I could not do anything against her, I launched many arrow against the baby but the guardian angel blocked all these arrows, I began to look for open door and legality that will give me up a hand, I decided to behave in such a way that it will aggravate my mother, on that day when I applied my strategy, my mother who get angry easily was aggravated by my behavior, when anger was found in her heart, the warrior angels of God withdrew from her and the baby, anger is the open door that give the enemy legality to touch the believer, moreover, whenever my mother was committing sin the baby was affected in a way because the angels were also leaving the baby, and because of my mother anger I struck the baby with evil arrows of sickness, the baby began to suffer sickness, my younger sister that I initiated also attack our senior brother with the evil dart, we wanted to make him mad, it did not work, nevertheless he became stupid in school, a woman from the church a friend of my mother kept telling me, Sarah, you have to give up witchcraft practices, you must repent and come to Christ, I kept telling her, don't worry I will abandon it, However I was coming to attack and fight her in the dream every time she told me to abandon witchcraft, the world of witchcraft instructed me to fight her if she continued to tell me to renounce witchcraft, I continued the work of witchcraft removing peace and causing separation in the family, even causing redundancy, I attack my mother job as a result she was laid off in three consecutive job because of witchcraft attack, thus we were unable to pay the rent and we suffer from hunger because I was blocking my mother finance, she kept telling me to abandon witchcraft but I had hard heart, and I told my mother, you are always harsh towards me, that is why I am against you, in truth it was my aunt who have so hate in my heart towards my mother, my sister that I initiated in witchcraft was saying we should kill our mother, but every time my mother was renouncing and confessing her sins God angels were coming down in our homes, I could not take her life, all the arrows I shot against her were deviated and blocked by the angels of the Lord, finally I shot the arrow of madness to my mother younger sister, but the Lord guardian's angels block it and they told me, if you continue to shoot God people with these arrows that we are blocking, we will return every single one of these arrows that you shot to you and you will die. Given the threat of the angels guardians, I calmed down. The following day when I went to church, when he saw me the prophet told me, if you don't come out of witchcraft you will become mad, and you will die, I said I cannot, I am very much deep and attached to it, the prophet said, I leave you one week, if you don't come out you will die, I was coming out the church when the service ended, when suddenly the spirit of God seized my mother friend, the Lord spoke through her mouth and told me, why are you so wicked? how can you continue with your wickedness, you are attacking my children in a systematic way, just because they are telling you to abandon witchcraft, if you don't repent, if you continue with your witchcraft you will die, they love you that's why they ask you to abandon these practices, in response you attack them, if you don't listen to my warning you will be punished, when I heard these words, I got angry and went back home full of anger, in the night I went out of my body and traveled to my mother friend who was speaking from the Lord, I shot her baby with the evil arrows of death to kill her, this lady was a woman of prayer, she was protected by the angel Michael, the baby was supposed to die but she did not for my arrows of death was downgraded to that of sickness, the baby got sick but did not die despite the arrows of death, in the morning the lady could not go to church, she told my mother, tell your daughter, since she won war, in the night we will fight, I am coming with the angel Michael, this woman of prayer was guarded by the dreadful angel Michael, she live a life of prayer, every time she fight in prayer the angel Michael come to join her, whenever she ask for the angel of battle in prayer it is Michael that come down, I knew the formidable angel Michael, I back off, my mother like walking the street with painted face, she wear wig, earring and jewelry, yet when I used to travel in the world that is beneath the water, we were using serpent in order to make wig, wig our serpent, yet my mother a born again Christian had a room filled with all kind of wigs, which were snakes, in the night these snakes were defiling the house, 
The glory of God could not come down at home because of these items, my mother was walking the city of Abidjan with snakes on her head and I was laughing at her, I even place one more snake in her wig for this is what it is, my mother had all kind of makeup, jewelry and perfume. These items were made under water, they are property of the enemy, yet my mother a born again Christian was fighting the devil and keeping his property. In the battle with my mother I also used social network as a trap, there are demons hiding behind pictures of social network, despite the fact that my mother ended up with the tail of a fish because of spiritual husband, she still had angel of protection around her, that was God's grace upon her life, since my mother was addicted to social network, when she watches images that had demon, his angels were withdrawing. I waited for the angels to withdraw and I shot her with arrow of heaviness, so that she will not be able to pray, when she is heavy and unable to pray, we will begin to do meeting of witches in our homes, at home I places camera upon all the photo that were hanging on the wall, my eyes were everywhere in the house, whatever happened at home I was aware my fatal weapon was my eyes, I was attacking more with my eyes, if you fixed me and the eyes you may die later. If I fixed your eyes with my python eyes you will be swallowed and your stars and destiny will be compromised, I was walking with my mother who told me, we are going to vigil prayer God will deliver you, when we arrive at the crossroad leading to the church, I saw angels of light, they were numerous, these warriors angels came for this vigil prayer, they were aligned from the cross section to the football field where the church building was, I asked my mother where are we going, she said, we have come to the vigil. I hope that they will deliver you here, I was scared to join this gathering, for the bright angels that I saw aligned here were giant and robust warriors, since I was afraid the angel told me to pass and join the assembly, when I was about to enter the church I saw flames of fire all over the church, a lady servant of God encouraged me to come in but I was scared by the flames of fire and these tall angels of God, when I got inside the house of prayer, I was struck by great light. When I look I saw numerous angel that I could not count, I was given a seat among the people of God, and when I took seat the chair became fire that burned me, I became uncomfortable, I decided to leave my body because of the flames. The warrior angels of God told me, don't do it, and don't try to attack anyone here otherwise we will overpower you here, we were in this vigil and it was midnight, I heard a voice telling me, Sarah, come out, I replied to the voice. These warrior angels said I am not allowed to leave my body, there is fire in this place, the voice told me, if you don't come out of your body to attend the meeting we will kill you, I said to the voice, if I cannot leave this place because of fire I don't think you can come down here, he retorted if you don't come out I will kill you, I said to him, if you think you are stronger than these warrior angels here come down and confront them, the voice kept threatening me. I replied if you are stronger than the spirit of God you would have come down here, anyway you are already threatening to kill me therefore I remained here, I slept peacefully in the church until the morning, I was told to renounce and confess everything, I gave up everything including makeup, jewelry and wig, during these days of renunciation and separation from the world, whenever I decided to give up one particular sin an angel of God was coming down from heaven. When I separated from wig an angel came down and in camp around me, when I separated from makeup another came and took note, another angel came down from heaven and stood outside the room for me, I accepted to part ways with witchcraft and went through liberation prayer, men of God cast out the spirit of death, the spirit of water, the spirit of python and sorcery and foolishness, my bag of witchcraft and python disappear including the power of dragon transformation. In a four days prayer I was delivered, my serpent and fish tail disappeared, I was delivered, I remember in my class, I was sent to initiate pupil, and steal their intelligence, because they were not covered by the blood, they were carnal and given to secular music, since there were already two witches in our class we agreed that they will steal half of the intelligence of the pupils and I will steal the half remaining, and each one brought what he has stolen to his brotherhood. I bewitch the class through my eyes, I stole pupils chances and stars and their intelligence, as a result no one was smart, except pupils that had the spirit of God, I was also operating in social network in particular Facebook, 
There are images that fine but there are also images that are not good for eyes, for there are demons hiding behind images that are indecent and negative images of accident and catastrophe, when you watch them the demon of Facebook will come in your life, this demon cause people to keep watching these images for hours, you forget about praying and reading your Bible, them I could not look at them in the eyes, I was burned in the eyes, there were many witches in the school, the prefect was in Freemasonry. He knew what I was doing but ignore me, I was required to sacrifice a number of pupils, I poison their food with a look, when I was stealing people's stars and chances, even years of their lives were stolen and their lives were shortened, I caused sexual immorality among pupils who began to sleep with one another, I was also required to initiative my schoolmate who were in very much in the things of the world like secular music, 